It's always exciting for me to climb the volcano. I ask myself, what am I going to encounter today? There's so much to see and discover along the way. And when I get up here and look down, the countryside seems infinitely tranquil. When Javier Ramirez sits up here, he often thinks about what people call the Tacana volcano, a sleeping dragon. Nearly every day, it's shrouded in clouds that hang in the surrounding forests. It creates a unique ecosystem, the cloud forest. It's the interaction of the different species that make for this special variety. Starting with the animals, the fungi, the bacteria, the plants and the birds. Everything comes together here. The plants and trees keep the soil moist and the air humid. The forestry engineer works for IUCN, the world's biggest nature protection organization. Several times a month, he climbs Takana for the group. Today, he's meeting some farmers. They own land up here that they got from the state. They can use it as they wish. Nature means everything to us because we live from it. That's why it's important to us to protect it. He and other farmers have agreed not to plant corn or beans here. In return, they receive compensation from IUCN. Together, they're building protective barriers on their land made of tree trunks and branches. They're to protect the deforested slopes from erosion. When the water comes down, it takes everything in its path along with it, and that at breakneck speed. Mud, earth, rocks. It gathers together and gets dragged along. And that, for example, causes the rivers to flood their banks. The river water used to be much dirtier because the leaves and branches were flushed down the side of the volcano. Now the water's clean, thanks to the protective barriers. Lunch break in Tukiani Las Nubes. The village is on a slope of the volcano at an altitude of 1,700 meters. The villagers are poor, but thanks to the rich volcanic soil, they can plant coffee, a profitable crop. Beans of coffee grown at higher elevations are dense and flavorful. The farmers earn more money with high-altitude coffees. Francisco Ortiz takes special care of his coffee plants. To protect them and the soil, he switched to organic fertilizer several years ago. He says it helps make his plants stronger. Were he to use chemicals, his plants would thrive for perhaps a year or two, but then they'd die. He says the organic fertilizer makes his plants more robust. And the leaves are stronger, says a colleague. But the farmers still can't prevent disease from attacking the coffee plants. Lately, they've been fighting a fungus known as la roya, or coffee rust. It's already infected many of his plants. You can see a bit of it here on this spot. Eventually, the leaf will turn completely yellow and die. The entire coffee plant will dry out and no longer produce beans. That hit us hard this year. Our harvest was much too small. To get by, the farmers have to make some changes and plant other crops on their fields. At the base of the volcano, the Flores family is harvesting flowers on their land.
It's rained a lot recently, and that's been good for the flowers. Each week, they bring along something else to the weekly markets. Last week, it was oranges. The market in Kakahuatan is a good hour's walk away. Only organic products can be sold here. It's an initiative of the IUCN. Many farmers participate. They're switching to sustainable agriculture without chemical fertilizers or pesticides. It's good for the environment, and the organic market is an additional source of income. We come here to sell what little we have, to increase our income and pay for school for our children. That's why we also plant fruit on our land. If we sometimes don't have enough of one kind, we just bring something else along. That's also part of the strategy of Javier Ramirez and his organization. The people realize that it's all worth it. They say, aha, uh -huh, I can earn from that. If I keep it up, I'll profit in the future too. For the farmers, the fertile soil around Takana remains their most important resource, and they want to keep it that way for a long time to come. <laughs>